Let us open Daniel chapter 7 together. Please read Daniel chapter 7, verse 23. He gave me this explanation. The fourth beast is a fourth kingdom that will appear on earth. It will be different from all the other kingdoms and will devour the whole earth, trampling it down and crushing it. The ten horns are ten kings who will come from this kingdom. After them, another king will arise, different from the earlier ones. He will subdue three kings. He will speak against the Most High and oppress His holy people and try to change the set times and the laws. The holy people will be delivered into His hands for a time, times, and half a time. But the court will sit and His power will be taken away. Here it is written, the enemy, the devil, who stands against God, will change God's set times and laws. In other words, what is he going to do with the covenant? He will completely change everything, meaning he will destroy it. Since Jesus already knew that the covenant would be destroyed and be slandered by the devil, before he ascended to heaven, what did he leave this covenant as on the earth? He left this as his will. He wanted the true people who follow the truth and long for the kingdom of heaven to keep this covenant to the end. That is why he appointed this covenant as his last will. Let us take a look at this matter in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. Please read this. For this reason, Christ is the mediator of a new covenant. Who is Christ? What kind of messenger did Jesus Christ come to this earth as? He came to this earth as the messenger of the covenant. Which covenant is it? The new covenant. He is the mediator of a new covenant that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance now that he has died as a ransom to set them free from the sins committed under the first covenant. The promised eternal inheritance indicates the most important key to enter the kingdom of heaven. This key is the new covenant. Through this covenant, we will receive the promised eternal inheritance. Let us continue. In the case of a will, it is necessary to prove the death of the one who made it, because a will is in force only when somebody has died. It never takes effect while the one who made it is living. There is a footnote on the phrase, a will, right? What does it say at the footnote? He firmly appointed the covenant as his will to let us keep this covenant to the end. Nonetheless, many people disregard the covenant established by Jesus Christ who came to this earth as the messenger of the covenant. They do not realize the importance of the covenant. In Hebrews chapter 8, it is written that those who do not receive the new covenant and do not live in the new covenant cannot be called God's people. There is a clear reason why we must have this covenant. Let us take a look at Hebrews chapter 8, verse 7. For if there had been nothing wrong, if there was no wrong with that first covenant, no place would have been sought for another. But God found fault with the people and said, The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. God establishes the new covenant, but not arbitrarily. There is a purpose, a will, and a meaning in establishing the covenant. The new covenant is the covenant that the messenger of the covenant established. I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they did not remain faithful to my covenant, and I turned away from them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will establish with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and write them on their hearts. Then I will be. What will he be? Their God. Which covenant should we have in order for God to be our God? To those who have the new covenant, God said, I will be your God. And they, those who have the new covenant, will be my people. For this reason, he came to this earth with the mission of the messenger of the covenant and established the new covenant. However, do people who claim to believe in Jesus today believe in this covenant? They do not even know that Jesus came to the earth as the messenger of the covenant. They do not even know what kind of covenant Jesus had established. They just live a life of faith with a vague faith. However, since you and I have the new covenant appointed by Jesus, 
who came to this earth as the messenger of the covenant. Jesus Christ becomes our God, and we become His true people. Only the true people can enter the kingdom of heaven and receive God's protection. 